everyone, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri. I'm actually going to be a first year dental student starting in August at Marquette University School of Dentistry. And I created this channel just to create sort of a virtual mentorship where other dental students, pre-dental students can all connect and we can all help each other achieve our goals. So if you want to stick around, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Today's video is really exciting because we're talking all about summers and how to spend your summer breaks. Summers can be really important, especially for pre-dental students to kind of understand what you're getting into, gain experience, and kind of build up your application aside from what you're doing in school. So you have a lot of free time and it's good to use that time wisely. Of course, sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out what using your time wisely means. So that's why I'm here to kind of help you and give you some ideas of how to spend your summers as pre-dental students. So the first thing I would say is try to spend your time over the summer shadowing and kind of gaining experience within the dental industry. So for me, a lot of the times during school, I didn't have time to go and shadow and, you know, go and meet up with dentists and kind of familiarize myself because I was so busy at school that I didn't have time. I also didn't have a car on campus. So it was really difficult for me to kind of gain experience during, during the school year. But over the summers, I would basically spend three to four times a week going to a dentist for eight hours a day and just shadowing, asking questions, gaining experience within the dental industry to make sure that this is actually what I want to pursue in life. The second thing I would recommend is taking time to serve your community. Service is a really important part of dentistry because it is just helping people and making sure that you're able to provide healthcare for other people. And showing that genuine care for others can also be built through volunteering. This doesn't necessarily have to be dental related volunteering, even if it's something as simple as helping out with like a 5K or I don't know, serving food at a local shelter, something like that. Just Finding opportunities to serve your community and give back to your community is a really great way to spend your summer. Now the next thing is working on manual dexterity. So manual dexterity, what that means is a lot of the times at, in dentistry, you're working with fine motor movements. You have really tiny movements that you're making. You need to be able to refine those fine motor skills. And that's what we call manual dexterity, is making sure that you're able to work with your hands and you have those fine motor skills. This can be developed through a lot of different things. It is developed through knitting, playing an instrument, art. There are so many opportunities to kind of show your manual dexterity, but remember that this is something that is asked about on your application. There is a question on the application that asks how you've developed your manual dexterity and what you've done to kind of create those fine motor skills. So this is a really important part of your application and it's a great way to spend your summer as well. So the next thing might seem a little bit obvious, but take the summer to study for the DAT. It's a really good chunk of time. You have three whole months to study. So take that as an opportunity to spend those three months studying and get a really good score on the DAT. The next thing I could recommend is taking summer classes. Now this might come in a lot of different ways. It might be you working ahead and making sure that your load during the school year would be a little bit easier and kind of just working towards your major. You might want to pick up a minor, so maybe taking some of those minor classes over the summer or also retaking classes because that happens as well. So take your summer to take some classes and keep learning. So of course, dental school is also really expensive and the whole application process is very expensive too. So it might be a good idea to take the summer to get a job. This can, again, come in a lot of different forms. I would highly recommend looking into campus jobs as well if you're gonna be near your campus over the summers because a lot of times campus jobs are kind of desk jobs where you can sit there and maybe if you're studying for the DAT, you can study while you're working, whatever that may be. But find a job that you're really interested in and spend your summer doing that. So the last thing I would say is spend your summers 
enjoying and pursuing your hobbies. I feel like I say this all the time, but your application is you on paper, but interviews are meant to get to know who you are as a person and you need to make sure that you have things that you do outside of school. Along with the summers being a great way for you to kind of build up your application, it's also meant to be a break from school and then make sure that you're taking time to just relax and take care of yourself before your next semester. So those are just a few ideas that I came up with of how to spend your summers. I also wanted to share just more personally what I did during each of my summers. That way it'll kind of give you a good idea of like what to do when and all of that stuff. So during my first summer in college, between my freshman and sophomore year, the first half of the summer I spent working and I worked as an orientation leader which was a really cool seasonal position and it was also a leadership position which was really nice because actually a lot of my interviewers asked about that because it was kind of a unique thing that I did so that's how I spent the first half of the summer the second half of the summer I spent taking a class so I didn't do really well in one of the classes that I took freshman year so I retook that class the second half of the semester throughout the whole summer I also just shadowed. I spent a lot of time shadowing as I mentioned before. That's kind of where I got all of my shadowing hours was during the summer. So my second summer between my sophomore and junior year I studied for the DAT. I studied for three months and along with studying for the DAT I also once again shadowed. So I only shadowed I think for the first two months because the last month of summer I really wanted to focus on the DAT and make sure that I, I had enough time to study. But my second summer was just spent studying for the DAT and shadowing. And then my last summer in college College, which was between my junior and senior year. This is kind of when COVID hit, so I actually wasn't able to shadow this summer, but I spent the whole summer applying to dental schools and I applied to dental schools the beginning half of the summer. I did all of my supplemental applications in the middle of summer, and then I did a lot of interview prep during the last portion of my summer. So we're not to mention that during all of my summers, I did spend time volunteering at a dental clinic. This was something that I kept up with during the school year and during the summer, so that's why I didn't mention it, but I wanted to just make sure I included that because that is a really good way to spend your summers as well. But that is all I have for you today. Hopefully you found this video helpful and kind of just giving you a few ideas of how to spend your summers. And if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of just more personal things there. So if you want to get to know me more as a person, feel free to follow me there. But I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.